The patient is seated upright on the bed with pillows to support his arms. Don't lean the patient forward since pleural fluid will flow forward away from the site. The operator percusses the upper border of the effusion and chooses a site one to two interspaces below the upper edge of dullness. She establishes the level of the site since it's best to stay at or above the eighth intercostal space to avoid the liver or spleen. She marks the site. The operator then cleanses the area with antiseptic solution, applying it in a spiral pattern outward to avoid passing from dirty areas to clean. She makes three applications. She drapes the site using a fenestrated drape supplied with the commercial thoracentesis kit. She anesthetizes the skin, raising a wheel with a small 25 gauge needle. After allowing time for the anesthetic to work, she changes to a larger needle and infiltrates the subcutaneous tissues and the area around the rib. Preparing to use the needle-only technique, she assembles the syringe and stopcock on the needle. The needle is passed through the interspace just above the rib while aspirating for fluid. She stabilizes the needle, attaches the tubing to the stopcock, and then collects a sample of fluid to be sent to the lab. The arm of the stopcock always points to the direction that is off. One disadvantage of the needle-only procedure is that you must manually stabilize the needle throughout the fluid collection. Remember to order a follow-up chest x-ray to check for a pneumothorax.